Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this code generation series, we are trying to see different aspect of model based design and what are the things that we should do while generating the code from any MATLAB model. Basically, what are the key things that we should look into while designing or following such a workflow. So in this tutorial, we will see the creation of test harness and what is the use of this particular test harness. So suppose you have designed a controller model, which we have done in the previous tutorials. If you want to have a look on to the same, please look into this particular series for controller modeling. Once we have the controller ready, then we can create a test harness for the same. We will try to give different inputs to the test harness and then we can validate whether that particular harness is behaving properly or not. So there are two possible test harness you can create. One could be for the mill testing and another is for the sill testing. So we will see both of the aspect. The sill testing we will see in different video when we will be able to generate a C code then we will be able to generate a sill testing platform. But when uh, we are dealing with the model then we we will be looking into the mill aspect of the model so let's start creating a test harness so how you can create a test harness just right click on the state flow chart and there is a test harness uh, tab uh, where we can go and select create a controller model test harness so here we have different options so we can select the inputs as the input and we can also uh, mention the output as the scope or some other things but here we will be mentioning the scope and then we will be pressing on ok button to create the test harness so once you press on ok a test harness will be created here the inputs are in the form of inputs and the output it is connected to a scope which we have already been defined while creating the test harness so basically this test harness is separated test unit block where we have only the controller model. We will not have the plant model because uh, in the test harness part, we will be validating a particular section of the particular model. Here in this case, it is a controller model. So we have created test harness for the controller model and we will validate this controller model like we have done previously and with different inputs and we will be seeing the behavior based on these inputs so it is all the same uh, what is there inside our main uh, controller model now let's save this particular test harness once we create the test harness you will be able to see some barcodes uh, inside the main model and if you click on uh, that barcode you will be able to see the feature one test harness so here uh, to make it more simple we will copy all these inputs and put it inside the test harness model that we have to validate the same behavior so we will delete all these inputs and we will connect the relevant uh, inputs that we have given to the main model so here we have connected all these inputs and here you can see the distance is not coming from the plant model so that's why we have given it in the form of a constant so here we can manipulate the distance and see uh, like we can directly change the distance uh, as one two three four meters and can validate directly the behavior of this controller model so we will do some formatting for this particular uh, model as we are dealing with different blocks so uh, the distance block uh, that is coming from the plant model we have colored it differently now if we want to validate all these things we can do the validate uh, for this particular model separately uh, the test harness model and basically here we are validating the mill mill platform validating in the mill platform but uh, we can also do uh, validate in the sill platform that we will see in a separate video and the same way what we did uh, the validation for in the previous video for the particular uh, model that same method we can implement and set some breakpoints and we can do the debugging. So this is how we can create a test harness and uh, we can do the uh, testing of individual unit. We need to just right click on the block and uh, 
create test harness we need to select and that will create a test harness and that way we can individually test individual code or the model part that we we are developing this is not just applicable to the state flow chart but it is applicable to any simulink model so any simulink block or any simulink subsystem so that way you can validate individual blocks that you have created or individual subsystem that you have created and can come up with uh, the confidence that you have designed it properly in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or any suggestion please share it in the comment box so that we can improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel so happy learning matlab and stay connected have a good day